We're back. We just. We're back. We're just gonna resave it and and quickly see what's um, return. Sayori, Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, dying in any words I had in my mouth. Wait, 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 wait. Load. That was that. That was Yuri and Sa Sayori. Oh no 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 what did I press? Natsuki glares at me dying up any words I had in my mouth. So intense I turn to Yuri. Y Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori Eh uh, Yeah <laughs> Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Dabby! Well, that's her problem, is, isn't is about her. I, I, I agree. It's unfair to others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, but I'm not gonna choose any one of you. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never! Is your in immaturity that made her upset in the first place? Excuse me? Natsuki, chill, girl, chill. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why no one likes. Stop! Natsuki? You Natsuki, Yuri! You guys are my friends! I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends wouldn't people and I love them because their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazingly because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. What is it with this sneezing? I'm good. And Yuri's poems are, are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone is so talented, so why are we fighting? It, because, well, also, Natsuki cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are in the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> so Sayuri, I think that's enough, girl. Sayuri stands triumphantly. Big and beautiful. Monica stands behind her with a <laughs> bulleted expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayuri is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, but I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, it's kind of em embarrassing to myself. Ahaha. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to do anything either. <laughs> well, I guess that was just me. Me and Sarah is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly s suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I wouldn't hate to see her get yourself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knock. That's just hunger, man. We're still hungry. Such a genuine person really does make a president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Dabby! How, how do you? Yeah, I'd say the same. I was near. It was neat things to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll all do something tomorrow. And maybe we'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will uh, return out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more of the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, it means I can lead to better on impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Derby! Ready to go home? Walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs>
Sorry, <laughs> beams at me. I truly had been a while since Sari and I have spent so much time together. I, re I can really say I'm enjoying it either. I'm not. Sorry, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Uh, you don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see that they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know Darby! It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on onto the, the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, <laughs> being friends with everyone is nice, but it's really need to stop there. Ah, uh, this is like school days. It's gotta be like that. Well, just have to see when future holds. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I thought that's more to myself than to her, but uh, Sayori has internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah. Let's do this. Awesome! Mm. Awesome! Massacre! Giggle! Death! Um, family, kawaii, milk, comfort, raindrops, crop tops, excitement, uh, extreme, beauty, Skipping Summer Crimson Childhood Rainbow Vanilla Forgive Laugh Ah, I need Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. Wait. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, more usual since we Hi Dabby! <laughs> Yo, sorry. Looks like you've got in a good mood today. <laughs> it's just not used to being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in the mood. A good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you, always. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. You too. Will you come with me to buy snacks? Sure. No thanks. What? Eh? Uh -huh. That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. <laughs> Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, <laughs> what's that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Aha. Uh -huh. So nervously relieves her coin. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns up upside down and the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it! I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. <laughs> if you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming in the class. I'm the I'm a detective! So either you're not hungry, you wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you planned on convincing, conveniently forget you spent all your money so that I'll lend you some. But there's one more thing, you're always hungry, and so that's only leaves the one option. Uh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel, if I, <laughs> if you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Uh, seriously. Huh? I noticed that she was listening in. Her face in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. 
It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Darby to let, to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can respectfully... Responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough as a retribution. Ah, did I just? I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in, into my book. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. Right? It doesn't happen much, but it's fun inside of you. That's. There's a point you couldn't think that. You were right though. I did something bad and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That still coming from you, Sayori. I guess that's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she's do <laughs> she told you guys she was bringing me into the club before she even told me. But... but you wouldn't have come, weren't you? The cupcakes, so I had to trick her into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Bitch slap! Yeah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What's <laughs> this? Eh? A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glanced around. Is it a miracle? It's because I paid my retribution. <laughs> retribution? Actually, the ones almost worked. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Not so okay. I was nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori <laughs> rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Mm. Sorry, suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers, but yours is chocolate. Yeah? <laughs> Why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> so it gets out of her seat and goes behind Atsuki and wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Atsuki reaches up in the nudge. Sorry, oh? Sorry suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mmm! Mouthful Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I love as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Natsuki uh, glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you any heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Uh, you don't think she's... she she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. What's up, bitches? Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Okay. Uh, Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong, Will. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind. She held it up anyway. Uh, well, at last period, Today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played piano as well. Ah, I don't really. It's kind of just started recently. 
I've always n wanted to learn piano. Me, me too. That sounds so cool. You should pay something for us. That's Monica looks at me. Maybe once you get a little bit better, as well, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. <laughs> I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Darby. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I've left to chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, no. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not really. I choose to leave <laughs> Sayori's mischievous <laughs> elapse. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everything had already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Here is back to her book and Natsuki dis disappeared in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered there. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related? I could read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little bit too tired to read. You'll we'll probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening to Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm? Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual, but it's not like you at all, you know. We just need the way to showing that to everyone, something that speaks to their creative minds. <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem though. <laughs> what do you mean? Everything we come to the most fun thing ever. No one will come in the first place to literally win. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we do this speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is talking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberate like this. Huh. This is a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Come on, good. Now I want a cupcake. I'd love to do that. Ah, oh, you're right. That's if you make her best cupcakes. Make the best. Perfectly. That's what she suggested, dude. Cupcakes don't. <laughs> cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details. Of I find myself smiling. <laughs> In the end, Sorry is still her usual self. But then it lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who is trouble finding the motivation at all, Sayori can put up with her things and come to life. I suppose that would end up the case of her, but wonder would be see the wood in her eyes. What? I open my eyes to find Sayori face filling my vision. I nearly fall off my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. That isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? If <laughs> you're saying <laughs> I'm late, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for- What? No, mm -hmm. I'm out. You'll need to get used to it. Now I'm out of here. Don't say that so loud. <laughs> I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. That's true though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sahuri. <laughs> That's what I do best. That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh, not, not every day. That's not every... <laughs> Got an open time. That's... a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do it. What are you, serial killer? Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glanced around at herself. How does it written all over me? You're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out around here. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. 
I got my fingertips down the side of his hair through this straightened out. Man, you really need to brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I don't I wouldn't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your your bow your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your colour right there. I tried to wipe the stain with my finger. But but nobody would even notice that. Of course they would. Whew! Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they won't want to embarrass you. For fortunately I really don't care about that. Hey you meanie. And you and you I really need my glasses. Like I can't I'm anyway. And you didn't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, sir. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Mm, ah, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Let's start the button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it have a friend who does things kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. Don't make me feel <laughs> weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. Button might come off. Why is the one on the... was one so hard to close? I struggled to fulfill the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you ever... buttoned it, would you have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore? What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger. <laughs> Don't say that out loud! <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like... It's not worth it. <sighs> Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's much better. Sayori... Puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, they, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he, he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping this unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? They don't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. And if you fo only if you focus on getting to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hehe. <laughs> I guess we really are better than taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe we should. You should come and wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Ah, oh, but I was joking this time. Mad to puzzle to tell when, with you sometime. Okay, everyone. Eh? <sighs> Calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Ah! Again? Why? Darby! I can't wait to read yours. Same. You failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sari still tries to relieve the poem. Alright, this time. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. I showed it to Yuri now. Natsuki. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, this is one was a good at your last one. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still near this. I wouldn't expect you to find your... <laughs> kind of poem yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well I guess if you've been friends for a long time, you might be the same wavelength. 
But you never really stuck me with a type. Sorry, has a type? All of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, sometimes so uh, fluffy spin so much uh, like you. That's like she's dragging me around uh, that way. Yeah, a little unnecessary. But I think it's a way for Wern, for me, she wouldn't probably just flying around a little. Go, oh, balloon. I'm hungry. <laughs> I really. You could say that we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. You, je you jelly girl? You jelly? Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my bum. Show it to me! Amy likes spiders. You know what I have heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has... Amy has a cute sighing voice. I heard she sing my favorite song, love song. Every time she sang the choir, the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders, that's why I'm not friends with her. Really? One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I, I that's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she hurts doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off with without spiders lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Oh, uh, why? Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. Of course not. I feel offended. Why would you do that? It sounds like you're gonna kill her or something. I explain it. Oh, want her dead. It's just so much. Helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree with the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Who would agree that the subject of this poem is an... Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about everyone thinks my... That's definitely mad... But it'd be easy to relate to. Who would make fun of someone liking spiders? That's just stupid, yeah. But it just makes people stupid, yes. <sighs> oh, oh, so you like spiders. Okay. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least, I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. <sighs> it's what I do best after all. Doesn't like writing useless unless they're a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important, but I think to people... <sighs> Remember that, I'm gonna write a good tomorrow, <laughs> look forward to it. Hi again, Dobby! Hi, how's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not be that's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. You never know. Wait to share the right you today. Sure, here you go. Give my poem to Monica. All right, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well. We may be good friends, but Sari and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Uh, the way she talks about you? It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if the snow show in the different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think uh, vibe get reading your poem. 
Hmm? Feeling it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayuri's writing has kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotion like happiness and sadness. Who knew? Enjoying things too. Yeah, that's totally expert. Well, to their own. And when you should be afraid to experiment a little either. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red. Green, blue, an endless copathy of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violet, violent greeting waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, shine, cozening, king, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza. And endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Like me. Load me. Um, it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I'm already creeped out. Like, what's. I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I'll never. Kind of like playing on the pace of the paper. Choosing spare change mood poem. Like I'm just skimming through this. At this point They already started creeping mad and I'm hungry. I'm like real hungry. Earth really makes me feel I see. Hard to tell what Aha! Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract in the physical expression of feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, everyone about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Something you'll find yourself facing difficult decisions when you happen. Don't forget to save your game. You'll never know when you might change your mind. Or something unexpected might happen. Wait, there's a tip about writing. What am I even talking about? No, I know. I already saved. <laughs> That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Sorry. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Darby. Yeah, I love it, <laughs> especially after yesterday's poem. Uh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really, I want to put this on my wall. Can I, Sayori? You must be serious overacting. I'm, a g I'm not a good writer at all. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why, because I have no idea what I like either. Haha. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure that your opinion has them a little more constructive than this. Maybe even not cookies. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's just not... Uh, it's a derby poem! And then it makes me extra special, like a few of feelings in it. So it hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> <sighs> well, the good if figuring out the poem's good or bad. Well, that's why I'm doing my heart, and if it makes me feel things, then it's a good poem. I'm gonna say it again. This game, you must have a lot of patience to watch a playthrough like this. If you don't watch my playthrough, I'm just doing this because I wanted to. It's it's real. It's hard to stay focused, to keep the interest, but I'm doing it anyway because I like it. I'm just, just throwing it out there. Then again, I guess overcoming feelings is an important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even get what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. <sighs> Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. You're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt or at some point. Well, I don't really know what it means, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm? 
I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes I like a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? A word is looking for... Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can see you liking something sad, Zoe. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud of your head, a sad poem can help you uh, rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. It is? Maybe I'm getting better at this expression in my feelings after all. Thanks, Darby! <laughs> I should go right down then. <sighs> my poem, okay? Bottomless. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like the bundle of kittens. I reach inside my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle and keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf all with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. Maybe collecting maybe collection my collection makes me a lot a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight and makes amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night more dreams friend of the friend more bottles. Deeper and deeper my finger goes, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secret, hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging, digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps, it doesn't feel like time e elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more, my friends look through my locked front door, finally all done, I open up and in come my friends and they come in such a hurry they don't want my bottles that much I think they pull them from the shelf one after the other holding them out to each and very friend each and every bottle but every time I let one go it shatters against the tile between my feet happy thoughts happy thoughts happy thoughts in shards all over the floor they were supposed to be my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, but they're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap! Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Hello, silly. Hello, Fitty. Uh, recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Yes, it's creepy. Maybe because I'm not used to being so cheerful, whatever, never mind. I think you're hot about it. The, the point is that they came out good, so proud of it. Ah, thanks. I feel like it. I feel like it was meant to express it this way. Help understand my own feelings a little bit. Uh, magic. You've gone pretty passionate about this, huh? Hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't go. You know. I had a habit of... One of those times. But seems the passion in her eyes makes me hard to be pro-mystic. Yuri! Last one! Mmm. Mmm. Well done, Darby! Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Joe. Come on, coming from you, it means a lot. Uh, it's nothing. Just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know that you're new to this thing, but what in such seems like a good poem, so perfect. You need to be afraid of the more death. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way of truly enabling your readers to see your into your mind. It's very intimate exercise, I see. Uh, that's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that. Would like to read it? Sure, of course. The poem you wrote for today? 
You! Excuse me again. You in nods. Timely your hands to the phone. The raccoon. It happens in the dead of night while I was sleeping. Uh, bread. Sl was, was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by a scuttering of a. Uh, rat at my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendons as a undying human. I gave the rac raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the sim sim the bread, my hungry, the raccoon, an urge. Uh, the incidents. It's I, I can't read. It its face and reflects that much more light off of the cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eye of the raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I immediately project my emotions onto the nearly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to follow, following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently so my bread is always handy every time i brandish my cutting knife the raccoon shows me its excitement a rush a rush of rush of blood classic prevents conditioning i slice the bread and i feel myself again did she kill the raccoon with a knife um, it was a little bit more daring than most yesterday. I can see that. It's all metaphoric. Uh, I don't know if it's my fault, but I can begin to imagine what this poem is about. Uh, that's right. It's a bit closer to a uh, reference writing style. Using the poem of the canvas to express vivid imaginary and convincing emotions to them. Yeah, I'll take in fact valid then I can even figure out uh, what it's supposed to mean well I think it's something and difficult to relate to on their own way I wanted to express the way I feel for me to to indulge in my more unusual hobbies sort of things that usually forced to keep to myself the eating guilty snack bread or killing raccoons huh that's funny didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About something being um, ridiculed for the strange interest? Uh, she did? Yeah. She was talking about how she doesn't matter if she's into it as long as you're not hurting anyone. She's right. I mean, does it really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. Uh, well, interest. To me, it seems to be kind of person fault judging, isn't it? Ah. Please, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I wouldn't probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. I'm a good listener. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems. I have something extra planned today. We could come and sit in front of the room. Is it about the festival? Well, sort of. <coughs> we really have to do something for the festival. So we can put together anything in a few days. Well, end up embarrassing ourselves and getting ourselves in the medals. That's concern of mine as well. Don't really open too much money preparation. Don't worry so much. We'll go into the deep simple again. Don't worry much more with you democracy. So I've been working on the posters and I've designed the pamphlets. So we give it out together the event. Okay. That's good and all, but that doesn't tell us that actually what's going on in the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be pla performing. Performing? P uh, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to 
recite during the event. But its cool part is you're also going to let everyone come up and recite poems too. So is putting out all the posters. Case to prepare preparation of mine. <laughs> Sorry, who's been coloring the posters all it up for us to see? Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't even didn't <laughs> you didn't you didn't already start putting up these posters, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's a bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to perform in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsugi. But never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where you're coming from. Remember, this Natsuki and Yuri never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. Just poems out loud of all poem people. But I guess you overlooked that, didn't you? I'm so sorry. No, you're not. But... I still think you should with the best. You're only reasonable for the fate of the club. We're starting the event. Good performance. And more people who perform better, we're able to show everyone the literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. Now those reasons, what are the reasons why we're doing it? Okay. Do you want to do it with others, inspire them to make, find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? Yes. Yes. I know you do. I know you all do. And it we'll takes front room for two minutes and reciting a poem. Then I know we can do it. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sari looks worried. I I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. At least we can do is help them out a little. Maybe, but it looks like Natsuki doesn't have an argument left. Yeah. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to go over with it. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What do you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glanced around everyone else's parents. <sighs> I guess it's really I have no choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. The club is seriously going to be the death of me. First, you say you die, and then. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. That's the second death mentioned. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you closer to your poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way, Monica. This is too sudden. Well, if you can recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. Start off. Uh, help everyone much more. Of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips her notebook in a specific form and has mind to herself. Then she stands behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. <coughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. A clear conditioned voice fills the room. More than that, her influence is precise. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind the line before simply in an atrium. I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Monica, Sayori. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an exception to understand. Finally, Monica finishes. Applaud. Breathe and smile. That was so good, Monica. So good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I was hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go, Sayori? I'll go next. Yuri. A what? Yuri fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head up, she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glanced at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. Oh, they say you can do it, Yuri! It, it's called After Image of the Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes and sorts reading her poem. Just a moment ago, she refused to do this. Why is it suddenly putting in such 
much effort. As Yuri gets past a couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens to Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering word transformed into a sharp syllable, syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and such of that enthusiasm with perfect timing. It must be a rare glimpse the world it keeps you a concealed in her head. Suddenly, she finishes. Everyone is stunned. Damn. Yuri snaps back into her glance on her and she bewitched bewildered herself. I... Uh, it's up to me to save the situation. First one to start applauding. Everyone joins and after me and gave Yuri recognition she deserves. <sighs> Rushed back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Yuri. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm up next then. Wait. There we go. All right. This has literally been one of the funnest, funnest ones to do, because it's just been reading. <laughs> but I don't really mind. I I like. It. As boring as I might look to you guys, I'm not. Um, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. So, if you watched, thank you. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. If you if you did watch this one. So, see you in the next one. Bye.